Hello, my name is David Alderson and I'm the director of the Centre for Interdisciplinary Research in Arts and Languages, which is a bit of a mouthful and so we call it SIDRAL for short. Obviously there are a number of research centres across this very large and diverse School of Arts, Languages and Cultures, um, but SIDRAL is unique in that it was established by the school itself to help to try and give it an intellectual focus and identity. And to do that, it organises a large number of events every year, many of them of interest to and even aimed directly at postgraduate students such as yourselves. This year, the programme is somewhat less extensive than it has been in previous years, at least in semester one, um, but that's owing to a range of different uh, reasons, including, of course, the prevailing conditions imposed by the COVID pandemic. Nonetheless, we've got some fascinating and exciting events coming up. Our flagship series is a public lecture series that we host, uh, one that features eminent academics in their fields from across the world. Normally, of course, we would bring them to Manchester itself, but this year, as with so much of the uh, many of the activities that we are conducting, it, the, this series will be held online. The public lectures focus on a specific, broadly defined theme every year. In the past, as you can see from the instances I've put up there on the slide, we've had the themes of work, leisure, culture, uh, and public intellectuals, popularity, and populism. Those are just instances of the kind of themes we uh, feature. In the coming year, you'll be surprised to learn, the theme is crises and recoveries. We thought we'd better inject a, an element of hope into the, into the theme by including that category of recoveries. As I speak, I'm still putting the finishing touches to aspects of the programme, but we have three public lectures already firmly uh, inscribed in the diary. We begin by addressing the crisis in relation to race and policing highlighted by the Black Lives Matter movement. As our own Ethna Quinn from American Studies here talks about her fascinating research in recent years into the way that rap music has been used in court cases to convict people of often quite serious offences. And in her paper, Ethna is going to be talking about uh, a notorious case from back in the 1990s, a murder case from Manchester itself. In our next lecture, we stay with music, but move on to think about music of a different sort when Sarah Price of the Sheffield Performer and Audience Research Centre um, at the University of Sheffield will talk about the crisis in classical music. Of course, many of the performing arts uh, are facing unprecedented difficulties in these times, and this is not least the true of classical musicians and the institutions of classical music, which really are facing an existential crisis. Sarah will be talking about the extent of that crisis and attempts to address it uh, and look forward to the future. Moving on to the 24th of November, we change the focus rather abruptly when we welcome Diana Maynard of the Department of Computer Science, I said this was an interdisciplinary research centre, um, from the University of Sheffield. I can say less about the, the, the work of Diana at the moment because she tells me that this is, this is new work that she's developing, but she's been focusing recently on the abuse and intimidation of journalists in a world in which the control of information is becoming an increasingly urgent political matter. Those then are our public lectures, uh, the ones that are organised to date at any rate for the first semester uh, of the academic year. In addition to these, 
Siddle also holds key ideas seminars, and these are aimed specifically at postgraduate students such as yourselves. Attendance at these is voluntary, of course, and the atmosphere in these seminars is informal and designed to introduce people to, um, for instance, the ideas of a particular influential thinker, somebody whose work has been important across a range of different disciplines, or it might look at a particular term or theme or theoretical tradition. It might look at affect theory, for instance, or as in the case with a, a seminar recently at the, the notion of creative industries. In the past, these seminars have been given by those visiting academics who have also given the uh, public lectures. But this year, of course, given that we don't actually have uh, those people coming and attending Manchester, uh, I'm relying very much on the, on the goodwill of my colleagues across the university. And we have two seminars uh, on the books at the moment. Uh, the first of them takes place on the 4th of November, uh, 12 o'clock on that day, and will be given by two of my colleagues from English and American Studies. Uh, and they'll be talking about their forthcoming book titled New Directions in Postcolonial Studies. That will be followed on the 18th of November by Sheena Kalail, who's a, a, a novelist um, and also a senior language tutor uh, here at the University of Manchester. And she's going to be talking on the subject of race and literary publishing. Now, as I say, these seminars are informal. They very often require you to do a little bit of reading prior to the seminar itself. But the aim of them is to facilitate a conversation uh, about the main topic. You don't need to have any knowledge about the topic under consideration, just uh, an interest in knowing more. That's the only requirement that we uh, specify. Over the course of this semester and next, I'll be publicising events in various ways, not least by distributing emails to you all uh, advising you of forthcoming events. So you will be reminded about these events, the ones that I've just been talking about just now. And I look forward to seeing many of you at those events. Meanwhile, I'll just say for the moment, there will be much more to come in 2021. So from me, welcome to Sidral and welcome to Manchester.